Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. I, you know what? I'm gonna random. I know that I already d randomed here. It seems convenient, but we had a Maggie run so recently. We did not have a Blue Baby run recently. This is one of those situations where you should be careful what you wish for. Uh, as much as I would love to have, you know, an Isaac or a Kane run, really? Am I really gonna end up taking my best friend from this fucking- I guess I am. Um, as much as I would love to have a run with a character that I love, um, rules are rules, and I broke the rules to not play as Maggie, and now I am uh, facing the consequences by playing as Blue Baby. We're gonna try to win. Um, that should probably go without saying, but I have lost a couple of runs in a row, a couple of runs that, well, to be honest with you, I don't think we were overpowered on either of them. Uh, we were close, though, in some of the situations. Now, my best friend is a bit of a weird item that occasionally gets me killed. So I'm really hoping that, um, well, all right, that was obviously god awful, but uh, I'm really hoping that we can get rid of this for another item in the future. I don't know what enemies actually kill you when you use my best friend, and maybe Spider Mod patches that issue out, but better safe than sorry. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use it on any of the bosses that actually like gate progress. Like you're not supposed to, I mean, I guess all of the bosses in the game kind of gate progress, don't they? But. Um, you're, you're not supposed to use it on, um, Isaac, Blue Baby, Mom, Mom's Heart, I think, I don't know. We'll see, anyway. If I end up killing myself as a result of using it, at least we'll finally know where to not use it. I don't think I've ever been killed by my best friend, or at least I haven't for, you know, several hundred episodes now. Um, but I'm gonna stop rambling about that and start rambling about what we actually need. Not the shittiest item rooms of all time. We have had the shittiest item rooms of all time on the past few runs. Squeezy! Might actually be, now that I'm, I'm pressed to think about it, Squeezy might be the best item that you can get from a boss room is Blue Baby. I'm thinking about it, and uh, I, I sincerely believe that. Maybe Pentagram is better, but Pentagram seems much rarer than uh, Squeezy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's real darn good. What do we need to actually succeed on this run? More items along those lines, you know, getting items like the crate, exploiting the fact that Blue Baby's, you know, tier list is a little bit different than the, uh, the tier list of items for other characters, and um, hopefully getting some benefits as a result. So, uh, sickly looking human popcorn over here. Move, explode. Come, yep. Yeah. Mm, nope, not gonna do it that way. Why don't you just cooperate for once? Why do they always seem to move in the opposite direction that I want them to? Okay, kill the flies without killing human popcorn. We can work him over here, I'm sure. Okay, come. If you go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go out in the... Ugh. Okay. Mm. Don't, don't get fresh with me, mister. Okay. That it worked! Okay. That almost never actually works, so... I'm very excited. We could possibly bomb our way into the secret... Or into the shop. Or that might be the boss room on the other side of us. Um... I'm, I'm not super stoked about bombing our way into the shop, even though we do have my best friend. I would rather just kind of, you know, hold position as is. Hey, thank you for actually getting a little lower here, giving me a chance to actually hit you. Um, please, God, thank you. Uh, oh, that was real close as well. Uh, mostly I just want a key, and if we can get that key, that would be lovely. But for now, we'll just try to put out this fire a little sneakily. Would love to go to the curse room. Can't truly justify it, but as Blue Baby, one advantage that we do have, and there are some advantages as Blue Baby. Less, or like, 0% chance of taking Red Heart damage should theoretically mean that we have a very, very good chance of getting a deal with the Devil. Uh, a near 100% chance if I don't get hit on the boss fight. Oh, we have an item uh, that we can maybe make good use of. Or, uh, sorry, a key that we can maybe use to get to the item room. I kinda don't wanna use it to get to the item room yet, just in case we get Pageant Boy or something like that. We could go to the shop instead, which might be more viable. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that if I don't take damage here, I'll have a, um, really- Oh, that was awesome. I'll have a really good chance to get a deal with the Devil. And that, you know, Eternal Heart is basically an HP upgrade. Really deals with the Angel again? Okay, disregard that. Life is wonderful. So, we have picked up Sacred Heart. That is great. Uh, range upgrade with Sacred Heart, I have no idea how important that is. I'm stoked now, very excited to be uh, having a blue baby run with this kind of power. I think the reason I'm getting these deals with the Angel, Guppy's Hairball is what it is, right? It's a passive that helps out a little bit. Um, correct me if I am mistaken here. Let's sacrifice what is effectively our Eternal Heart by going to the Curse Room, but I believe that since I have not, um, uh, since I have not uh, reloaded the game on any of my runs, by skipping that deal with the devil, 
No, maybe I didn't skip a deal with the devil. I, just, I don't know why this is, deals with the angel room exclusively, but I think it has something to do with the fact that I haven't reloaded my game uh, over the course of these three runs yet. I've, I've restarted runs, obviously, after I died um, in those videos that you saw, but... Um, because I remember there was something in, in Boiler, the Binding of Isaac, you know, Racing League, where people would play runs before actually having their race to give them a better chance of getting a deal with the angel versus deal with the devil. I don't know specifically, obviously I am not a uh, high octane, you know, Nikki Lauda of Binding of Isaac. That being said, um, I think that is why I believe that that is what is causing our issue here. Not to go all Professor Fring on you with my Moigans and the Floygan Flavins there. Um, which really are part of a balanced and complete breakfast. This is a joke that I'm not the first person to come up with this. And it's been harped on regularly, but it deserves to be harped on a little bit more. How bullshit are those part of a balanced breakfast fucking pictures that you see on television commercials for cereals? I don't know about you, when I was a kid, a lot of my friends when I was a kid didn't even eat breakfast. And meanwhile, I'd be sitting there saying, Yo, dog, you gotta eat breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. What did I eat for breakfast? Basically, like, sugary wheat. Various varieties of sugary wheat. You gotta get that sugary wheat in you right off the bat, man. Anyway, it probably still is better than not eating breakfast, but, um... It'd be like, hey, sugar crisp, part of a balanced breakfast. And then the, you know, the, they show the table, and the table's got, like, orange juice, milk, coffee, sugar crisp, toast. Cantaloupe, a fucking like hollowed out coconut, three multivitamins, a, a, a father who's actually there for you, and you're like, come on, man, that's just ridiculous. Nobody's got all that. Something's got to give. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put my best friend down over here. I don't think it's actually gonna hit anything. Oh, maybe it will. Ooh, we got lucky. Uh, but it got us a key, which is nice. And if we manage to find the secret room, which actually looks super unlikely, or otherwise get four cents. Maybe from Pageant Boy, like right here, it seems like the shop's gonna be awesome for us. So, I'm actually very much liking this run so far. Four different pills is always a little scary. Pill one teleported me away. I'm not gonna open any of these rooms yet, just in case we get a bombs or key pill. Three keys would be an amazing position to be in here. I'm really hoping we don't have bad trip. Tears down, I can live with. We have Sacred Heart. Luck up is whatever. Health down. All right. Well, that was basically a bad trip. Uh, there's so many possible locations for the secret room. I think I'll try like here. All right. Then I'm gonna save my bombs. It really sucks that we lost HP on this floor, but we also, you know, we got Sacred Heart on the last floor, so life is looking okay. Mind you, this is not a, a lock. I'm trying to shy away from saying this is not a one run, because whenever I say that, people get like really. Um, not mad, I would say, but they're like, yo, you always say that even when you have, like, mom's knife and stuff. But seriously, we're Blue Baby. Yes, Blue Baby does get stronger as the game goes on just by virtue of permanent Polaroid invincibility, if nothing else. By the way, as should be mentioned, we are using teleport here instead of, um, uh, my best friend. Hopefully that'll prevent me from accidentally getting myself killed, but I'm not gonna teleport here because even if I teleport into the shop, it's unlikely I'll be able to get anything, right? We'll use this as often as we can later, though. Um, so let's start by using teleport now. Uh, we... As of right now, and, and continuing, unless we find the Relic Miter, etc, etc, are in a position where, unfortunately, we um, have a very limited amount of HP and no means with which to replenish it uh, right now. So, things could change. Eventually, we may get to the point where we actually do uh, have Miter or Relic or, you know, Mom's Pearl or Book of Revelations or, you know, many things along these lines can actually help us out. But for now, things are pretty scary and... Um, it's always a bit of a crapshoot on a blue baby run, no matter how much damage you do, because it's not about how much damage you do in those runs, oftentimes at least. It's about uh, how much damage you can avoid personally taking. Why do I like uh, Teleport more than my best friend? Well, you know, it's not a it's not a wonderful choice to have to make. I don't, I don't think it's an amazing um, item. I don't think Teleport's great. It can't even give us access to IM error rooms, which is sometimes a blessing. Um, but it should save us keys occasionally um, by teleporting us into item rooms and, and stuff like that, which is why I'm probably not going to open the item room straight away here. Um, seems to make more sense to me to, to see if I teleport inside and maybe save our key for something else. But it, it also does give us access to rooms that might otherwise cost us something to go in. A curse room is a good example because that would cost us, uh, you know, HP to go inside. It would cost us HP to leave too, but... At least we've, we've taken it down to half price, you know? And... 
and I might be able to get lucky and find a secret room here, but I also just kind of want to kill these enemies. So yeah, there's another key, which is great. I'm hoping we can teleport ourselves inside the secret room. Ah, okay, we got inside of the uh, item room, and truth be told, that's the end of our teleportation days because we got Mom's Bra, which I think is a much better item. Still not gonna, you know, light the world on fire necessarily, but Sacred Heart means that, you know, we can we can make do with a lot of items that would otherwise be considered not so amazing, I suppose. Mom's bra is all right, though. So I'm really hoping that we snag another deal with the angel here, and basically, you know, we don't have a reroll, so I don't really care. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, we don't have a reroll, so I don't really have a choice. I don't have a say in what we get, but I really hope that we would get. Uh, you know, I will shoot this poop here. I oh, it's gone. Never mind. Uh, I really hope that we get. Uh, we would get either you know Halo. Or Miter a Relic. Oh, actually, at this point with these three pills, maybe something like Holy Grail would be better, but we there's no way of us or for us to know that really. One thing is for sure though, um, with Mom's Bra combined with uh, Sacred Heart, we should be able to do an awful lot of damage. We're probably gonna save Mom's Bra predominantly for bosses, but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you can see how effective that was for us here, but. Um, even saving it predominantly for bosses and, and not really using it on many other rooms in all likelihood, it's a super great combination for us and uh, is going to make us a very strong and, and potent foe for these enemies as time goes on. So we can just sneak like one more shot in here and maybe get the kill at any point in the near future. Oh, any second now. Oh, he almost got me. We did get another deal with the angel. We also got meat. That's fine, especially for the tears upgrade or damage upgrade. And we got a holy grail. Okay, so that's, you know... Not unexpected, but now we can fly. Flying is great. We have some new stuff that we can pick up. Maybe actually making this shop worthwhile. We'll only lose half a spirit heart for coming in here. And we got some flies, which is not worth it, but at least it's not a terrible trade. The pills. This is interesting. I know. I have to know what some of these do. There's telepills, okay. There's health down. That's not very good. And then there's a question mark. The question mark is balls of steel, making up for that health down pill earlier. Telepills! Uh, Telepills is an interesting one that maybe I will save until after the mom fight. We have three bombs. I, I don't think it should be too difficult to find the secret room. It was there, so we could have saved a key, but this is fine. Oh, and man, we got 11 cents for that. So even if it doesn't work out for this shop, uh, it should make the next shop awesome. Now, we don't want blue candle. I mean, it would be great. Blue candle would be an upgrade over mom's bra, so I shouldn't complain. But I would much rather have a passive item and keep mom's bra, use it once every three rooms, and, and tear ass as a result. So we're fighting greed, uh, this is fine, you know. Whatever we get, we get here. It's a speed upgrade and plenty of money. Was it worth the key? Yeah, probably, honestly. We got like 16 cents as a result of that, something along those lines. And a temporary trinket, which is fine for now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to have spent it. Uh, it means we probably won't have greed on our next floor, and 40 cents means pretty much a guaranteed item. Even if it's shitty, we might buy it just to get it out of the rotation, because what else are we going to do with 40 cents? Uh, well, probably something more worthwhile, hopefully, but you get the, the gist of it. So, I forgot that Mom's Bra was actually a once every three rooms item. I thought it was once every six rooms, um, which would make it obviously a lot worse, but once every three rooms is actually... You know, oh my god, what have I done to that silkworm down there? It actually means it's totally viable to use it, uh, you know, like this to just make rooms uh, easier on us that would otherwise carry a risk of taking damage. Getting two keys means the item room is now cool. We are on Necropolis. Necropolis, you know, not out of the question that will take damage here. And now it's starting to feel pretty good, right? This run's starting to feel solid. We have a lot of spirit hearts. They're not replenishable yet, but we have a lot of spirit hearts. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility comes soon. We have Sacred Heart. We have a, a decent spacebar item that, that helps us out. Um, we have, uh, well, and not much apart from that. Well, the ability to fly, that's something. It's more than something. It's, that's not even like a dubious upgrade. That is actually excellent. Uh, but we could always use more. That's the thing. You know, as soon as you get one good item, you just want to get more in the future. Really, though, all we need to make this run work, I feel, at this point... You know, map and compass are luxuries that would be helpful, but uh, relic and or miter would be uh, fantastic as well. I really don't want to give up Mom's Bra if I can avoid it. I'm not going to use Mom's Bra on this room. This room should be easy enough for, you know, this enemy to just kill itself, basically. Uh, well, and then I took damage, so Mom's Bra actually might have been a good choice there. That being said, I could have easily taken damage despite using Mom's Bra, because sometimes I'm a little bit of a dingleberry. 
now. I should use Mom's Bra eventually, otherwise I'm, you know, what's the point of even having it? Uh, or, or what's the point of not using it, I should say. And we get yet another active item. I guess that's the other thing in, in today's RNG is that we exclusively get active items from shops, which is super annoying. Empress card or telepills? You know. I still think telepills is better for possibly get, giving us a deal with the angel after the mom fight. Even though the Empress card is good, are we really going to suffer for damage at any point on this run? It's possible. I'm not going to say that it's not going to happen, but um, I think for the most part... We're going to be fine from a damage perspective, and our, our real trouble is going to lie from, uh... Well, it would be better, let's put it this way, to just give ourselves a better chance of getting an actual upgrade that sticks with us permanently. So, losing some health. Not unexpected. Four bombs means a likely secret room type situation going on down here. There's a lot of possibilities for it. I was really hoping that would be it. Because I'd love to open some Tinted Rocks, uh, which we have seen none of over the course of this run so far. Now I want money equals power. Like, 64 cents is goddamn crazy. We haven't been to the shop yet on this floor, so we'll, we'll probably spend some money there. At least I hope we spend some money there. Uh, and we have a judgment as well, so... Uh, the, the tier list, or the, you know, what we would expect or want from judgment is flipped a little bit when we're playing with Blue Baby here. Um, HP upgrade, I don't give a shit about. Two of Hearts is god-awful. Well, you know, it's nice to at least get the HP upgrade. I'm not gonna sneeze at it. Five cents for a Spirit Heart is pretty much market value. That being said, um... Anything that gave us a, a, an upgrade that was not just like one hit and it's gone would be better, but again, it's hard to complain. We have money uh, coming out of our asshole, basically, so I, I'm happy to have done this, or happy to do this. Now we have our treasure map, so we can actually see where we're supposed to go. And of course, yeah, five cents for a spirit heart. Why not, right? And it's, you know, I typically consider it like 50-50 in situations like this, whether we'll run into super greed or greed on the next floor. Uh, in the shop specifically, because if we find them in the secret room, uh, it's more than, uh, more than happy to go through with that. And we are encountering, like, I should have waited until um, I actually killed the, the heart to use this. To use the mom's bra, I should say. But um, we're encountering enemies who are so much easier to kill with uh, mom's bra than they are without. That was a really, actually, stupid oversight of, of mine um, to... Uh, not use, or to, to, to use Mom's Bra so quickly, if I had just instead kind of hung out and uh, taken out the heart, then I could have used Mom's Bra on the mask, and the mask typically has super low HP, so I may end up using many a bomb to make this a little easier on myself, and of course I hurt myself with that bomb, but the most important thing is just getting some damage done, so the thing with um, Sacred Heart, as you, you've noticed, I'm sure, in your own play and through watching me the rare occasion that I get it although we did get one fairly recently um, so this is nice but uh, slows your shots down a little bit so what am I trying to do here basically the only way that I can reliably get shots off is um, to kind of like wait till he charges me and then shoot laterally and that actually totally works I and mean, we will take a shot speed upgrade with this I know that most of the time they suck but we're gonna take it here um, and we're not going to use our uh, bomb to get into that secret room yet, because if we get a second bomb, there's a chance we could sneak into a special room without using a key. And now we have a key, so that's kind of irrelevant, but, you know, you get... Well, maybe it's not irrelevant, because we want to go to the shop and the item room on this floor. So, let's be cool. Um, I still think that despite that Mask of Infamy fight, we're in kind of a, an okay position. Necropolis doesn't bother me. That should give you some indication of how decent I feel that we're doing right now. Watch out for that, and uh, there is a special room there, and we do have two bombs. Considering we've come across zero tinted rocks that I can recall, I think we're safe to use those bombs to get into the shop and save our keys for the item room. Yeah, especially now that we got one more of those, plus we get the added benefit of actually going to the secret room, which could have an item, could have a mini boss, could have many different uh, kind of things resulting here. Yeah, I mean, this is really good. This is basically ideal. And I would rather save my... Uh, mom's bra here for use against uh, a room than use against greed specifically because uh, can we actually bomb our way out of here even though greed was in here no okay so we will have to use a key unless I botched that somewhat but I'm sure maybe we'll be able to buy a key in here anyway and that'll you know nullify that well we can get the 9 volt 9 volt I would say in conjunction with what we got going on here is pretty darn good so that will oh, that's really bad Always tricks me. That'll turn Mom's Bra from a once every three rooms item into a once every two rooms item. We actually have a Tinted Rock here, amazingly. Normally it wouldn't be too amazing, but here is, um, you know, like the second coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a second Telepills card, which is, you know, not as effective as you might think. 
I should be using Mom's Bra more frequently, but what we will do is save it now for the uh, Mom fight, which we'll do right away. And we'll actually... Uh, I don't know if a second Telepills really does too much for us in this situation, but we can at least try to get back to the... Uh, or try to get an Angel Room deal out of this. Or a Devil Room deal, like three Spirit Arts for Mom's Knife in conjunction with Sacred Heart would be amazing, but... Or it would, it would be adequate, let's say. So we're gonna take Telepills in here. We still have an item room to go to. Maybe an arcade as well, wouldn't be surprised. And what do you have for me? Okay, so we'll wait for the foot to come down. Then we Mom's Bra. Uh, I... Not doing a ton of damage, but it's it's nice. I'm gonna sneak out about 30%, I would say. Uh, and now we got Mom weirdly out of sync, but that's okay. Really, that's a extremely unlikely spawn, as you could probably guess, but that's alright. Um, maybe we should have frozen... Um, Mom when the eyes actually showed up, but I'm not sure if the eyes take more or less damage or you know anything along those lines So it's all good Keep it going here This is a fairly Like easy get for us here fairly easy fight And if we just keep the the crowd control Fans kind of flamed here We will be totally fine I mean, ideally, we take no no damage. And we did manage to take no damage. The speed upgrade is not what I wanted there, as you can probably guess, but... It's better, maybe, than getting an HP upgrade at this point. Alright, so let's see if we've earned ourselves that deal with the Angel. Maybe we look at the rest of the floor first, because I'm not actually sure if, like... That will cost me uh, a chance to go to all these other terminals here. All these other dead ends. If I uh, walk back into the mom fight, that would be unfortunate. So I'll probably end up gambling on the blood bank. Um... And we may end up uh, telepilsing at the end here, unless we get a better tarot card. Just because an I am error room would be, um, I mean, it's good as long as it doesn't cost you anything on the floor that you're on, right? So, Bloody Penny is, is worthless for us. The Polaroid actually does make it, you know, possible for us to get a fuck ton of money from a blood bank, because we'll, we'll have so much uh, invincibility. But the blood bag is no longer a really good uh, item because we already have good speed and, you know, if you play, if you lose two hearts, two, or two, you play twice on the blood bank and don't get the blood bag, yes, that was actually proper diction for once, um, then it doesn't pay for itself, so it would be stupid for us to go through with that. So we'll continue doing some exploration here. Uh, I, I guess I would be an idiot if I didn't play the fortune teller some, for sure. Um, we want to get as many spirit arts as possible. We have gotten a luck upgrade, so that should influence that slightly. Lucky Toe is great, but I do worry that if I uh, accidentally take Lucky Toe, maybe I'll block box myself out of the Polaroid somehow, you know, end up picking up uh, the tick by accident, which is not super unlikely. We'll probably play this until we get down to zero cents or until it explodes or until it pays out, just because, you know, it's worth it. Well worth it. I'm going to take a drink of my water here. I would uh, expect us to be... You know, probably getting two or more Spirit Hearts. Or I should say two more Spirit Hearts from this. Around that number, at least. We have no money that we want to spend on anything else. Tarot cards are, are lovely. The Sun card is worth taking down to the next floor. More than the, the risk of, or the chance of Telepills getting us to the I Am Air room, I think. It is just like a compass, basically, but it's nice. There's our other Spirit Hearts. Uh, keep it going here. That would be awesome if it was two of spades. It's not. It's two of clubs, but I'm going to... Maybe pop that right away. What, do we, what else do we have? The chariot card. All right, so we'll um, we'll use our chariot card in here to gamble a little bit on this thing. We don't really want the money, but we might end up using the money. I used this by accident, and it didn't pay out. But it, you know that could have been a great story. Obviously, we should go get the Polaroid back. Okay, so we still have the sun card. This is basically what we want, except that I'm going to pop two of clubs right away. Yes, we could get bombs or key later, and maybe get ten keys, but this is fine. And we'll keep it going here. We've improved ourselves pretty greatly just by getting those two spirit hearts, even though it might not seem like a lot. That can end, that can make a lot of difference with permanent Polaroid invincibility and the, the relatively high amount of damage we're dealing. You are worshipping a sun god. That is actually very true right now. The sun card might as well be my god. No tick, no tick. Okay, thank god. So we got a justice card. Oh, don't pop uh, the sun by accident. Justice card, super useful. Money is one thing, but uh, what's the other card here? Uh, two sun cards, okay. Uh, money is one thing, but uh, the key is extremely important. Umbilical cord is trash. Uh, spirit hearts, always welcome in my neck of the woods. Dead bird foot is trash. Uh, nothing is trash. S uh, fortune is trash, and... Uh, oh, that could be good. 
Let's see what else we got here. Finally, uh, actually, that is that is not trash. I w I'm going to take this, but I will confirm that, uh, you know, Flat Penny is the opposite of trash. So I'm going to try to take Flat Penny for just a second here. We're going to open this up in the hopes that there was more money. There wasn't, but this is okay. Just remember, don't let me not take the Polaroid. I have to take the Polaroid with me. This is a uh, very easy room to decide whether or not to use Mom's bra on. Uh, but if we get some more money, it would be super nice to get some more keys in addition to that money. In fact, we can maybe make good use of that on the Blood Bank. Trade one Spirit Heart for like 40 keys or something. Because we'll get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, but I would rather not, if possible. But we did get a lot of Spirit Hearts, so... Um, we, we can kind of afford to do it and, and still be totally fine. Demon Baby is a fine item. It's not incredible. Might take a special item. They might count as a special item. Whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, this is it's proving to be a little bit of a tricky floor. Not in terms of its difficulty, but just in terms of the um, you know the hoops that that can be jumped through in order to make some funky stuff happen. Surprised to have not taken damage there. All right, and a bomb. Yeah, worth walking into, I'd say. And there we go. That was a little scary. Might be worth using Mom's bra, but then again, it might not be. I think we will. I think it was a good time to use it. We'll explode these things and make life easier for everybody. There we go. There's one more key. Oh. Okay. And Blast Assist should be like a three-shotter, basically. To at least get it out of the actually dangerous phase, it's not going to be a problem. All right, so we got some more keys. I think I am going to sacrifice one Spirit Heart. Oh, we'll shoot these down. Sacrifice one Spirit Heart to get as many keys as possible. You know, that could end up opening some golden chests for us, which could make a really big difference in our run. Theoretically. Or not, but... Um, we'll play this a few more times. We do want to get the Polaroid to show up. If possible. Or, sorry, we already have the Polaroid. We don't want to get the Tick to show up. I don't know how that got turned around in my head, but that's what it should have been turned around to. So, yes. Oh, you know what? This doesn't work because I don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility here, so I'm going to sacrifice a Spirit Heart and a half, so we're actually lucky that we got that Spirit Heart earlier. Um, what we do is we come in here with the Polaroid. That's a mistake that anybody could make once. Don't pick up the money. Should get a few plays out of it each time, and we'll do one more. And then I'll, I'm going to blow this up at the end of this because I need to get all this money away from the door. That more or less worked. I didn't even pick up that one on the way out, which is great. All right, so we pick up, um, not Kane's Eye, but it's a good transition into Flat Penny. Oh, no, Polaroid. Flat Penny, there we go. Flat Penny the Sun is what we want for right now. Oh, and pretty good. All right, I'm okay with that. And then we'll actually come in here and gamble a little bit more. Why do we want to give our money to um, the Three Skull Man specifically? Pretty good chance of him paying out with money, which gives me basically a chance to launder it into keys. Uh, but more spirit hearts from the fortune teller is great as well, which is why I'm not, you know, sticking to, to merely one possibility here. Um, these, this may end up making no difference. It may end up just being an exercise in me proving, like, hey, check it out, I can be clever occasionally. But uh, I think it, it may work out. Like, the, the extra keys that we get may work out very nicely. Alright, so this didn't work out very well at all. But we have seven keys now, whereas we didn't have very many at all earlier. Uh I have Samson's lock because I'm an idiot and thought we would be leaving, but maybe eight. Hey, oh, that's actually bad now, but okay, that's fine. Um, and now we have three more cents because we picked them up. So we'll come up here and we'll, we'll gamble these away and then we'll be ready to actually leave this floor, believe it or not. We got a justice card. So we should pick up Flat Penny again quickly and then we'll pick up all this. And it worked out. There's our ninth key now. And we got two more cents. And finally... There we go, another tarot card. Temperance. Oh, man, okay, well. I need to get the Polaroid back now, but it's in this, the middle of this mess here. It's in the middle of the mess. Okay, well, we'll play this uh, again. Half a Spirit Heart this time, I think, is, is acceptable. Um, so, I don't really want IV bag. But we'll pick it up when we leave. We got no keys as a result of that, so... I'm an idiot, but remember, that could end up paying for itself anyway, because we'll then put it through the uh, fortune teller here, maybe get another spirit heart, or a 
card that is two of clubs, so that gives us a fuckload of bombs. And then there's another spirit heart there. Okay, we just need the Polaroid and the sun card, and then we can leave. We got it, we got it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's blow this up, maybe there'll be some money. There's a pill, we don't know what it does, it's a luck up, we know what it does. Alright, so that was an interesting endeavor there, I enjoyed it. Let's now see if we earn that deal with the angel. That was, considering how little we gained out of that, there was an awful lot of work that went into it. That's okay though, that was, it's fun to do that sometimes. Hey, there's a golden chest. It's Tammy's head. Tammy's head is what it is, um, which is actually pretty good with Sacred Heart. Uh, and we could use it once per room. But considering we have the 9 volt, I think Mom's bra, uh, it scales quite nicely for us here. Oh my god, we did get a deal with the angel. And it's scapular, which is either overpowered or useless as Blue Baby. I can never remember, because I don't pay attention to what scapular does. This is not the floor. We are going to use um, Mom's bra here. This is not the floor for us to use the sun card. The sun card, you know, given that it doesn't really do much for us as a... Um, no. Because we want to possibly get a deal with the angel. Uh, given that it doesn't do any full health shenanigans for us, we want to save it as a, a compass card, so we'll probably use it on the cathedral. That's that's how it ends up being used the vast majority of the time um, as Blue Baby, for my personal taste at least. And again, Mom's Bra with the 9 volt. It's a once every two rooms item, so might as well use it as often as possible, alright? Um, even if it looks like a room doesn't warrant it, unless the boss room is right next door, um, it, it, it makes sense to use it, I'd say. And plenty of money, but not too much else in that room except a little bit of damage. Yeah, we'll open the golden chest. I mean, that's why we went through this whole endeavor anyway, right? We will use Mom's Bra here, but I don't think uh, Larry Jr. is the enemy to use Mom's Bra against. If I take damage, I'll end up eating my words, but I don't think I will. You know what? I think Chubb is the enemy we end up doing this for. I'm doing a little back and forth here trying to get uh, Guppy's hairball to the point where it could actually hit. Uh, I don't know if that actually worked. Uh, that was a little scary for a moment there. That's okay. One hit each. Yep. And uh, actually, double Monstro would have been totally worthwhile using um, Mom's Bra against as well. But considering that Monstro is one of the first four bosses, like Larry Jr., I expect that uh, should be pretty easy to knock him out of contention. Oh, well, that was stupid of me, but that's okay. We'll still get out of this just fine. But, taking damage is uh, not as good as getting health, as is absolutely fucking obvious. Ooh, we made it, Reddit. Oh, uh, we did it. Okay, I'm gonna guess that probably uh, down and to the... No, probably just straight down is gonna be our boss room if I had to guess. If I had to put my money on it, outside of the top right, that would be my choice. And the top right has obviously proved useless so far, so... Um, I, I think that that's what we're gonna go with here. I don't really want to use Mom's Bra in this room, but we might as well, again, for the, the logical reasons that I stated earlier. Uh, that is not our boss room. I actually had a pretty good track record with picking the right direction in a couple episodes prior to this, but that mojo appears to have worn off. And there's a, it is back now. Uh, Balls of Steel, lovely. We lost probably exactly that much health on the floor so far, so that's nice. This is not our boss either, this is a curse room. Losing one full spirit heart to go to the curse room. I th honestly think it's still a pretty good deal uh, We could get spirit hearts in there. We could get deal with the devil or deal with the angel items uh, In all likelihood we'll probably get spiders or something like that But I think it's worth the risk and in this case it actually panned out fairly nicely. So it's a long trip for us here Let me do the math Use it Use it Yeah, I think if we use it on the first room it actually works out perfectly fine so we'll uh, freeze you, and we'll freeze you. Uh, you should be dead, thank you, and um, get in as close as we... You know what, now we're gonna back off. That was getting a little scary there for a second. And then this room, we don't have it. And I think I've planned my math accordingly here, but if I didn't, well, shit happens and we'll end up not having Mom's bra for a room that we would want it for. Well, you know, again, not the end of the world. Okay. That pill is a range upgrade. Okay, I like it. I can get down with it. I should be using uh, Mom's bra there, but I didn't, which means we can't actually use it on this room. That's okay, I don't really need it on this room. The The homing function, yeah, it works out totally fine for me. And there's our boss fight. So Utero One's been a, you know, a slow slog for us, but now's the moment of truth if we get another deal with the Angel. You know, there's great items that still exist in the pool here. Relic or Miter, um, either one. 
would be amazing. And I'm so happy that we're fighting not fucking Conquest. Like, it seemed like that was just the guarantee that we were stuck with for the rest of our natural fucking lives. So, um, being able to fight an enemy who is not a garbage man who gives you a shitty item. That's no disrespect. I don't mean like a sanitation professional. Oh, we did. We got some good stuff here. Sanitation professional, you have the utmost respect coming from me personally. I mean a man who is made out of physical trash. That is what I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, thank you for the route. That's what I'm trying to implicate as a garbage man here. So the Emperor card is more valuable than the Sun card. We shall leave now. Okay. Um, it's another fairly big floor. I'm going to start by going to the right side here, but I imagine we'll probably end up doing much of what we did on uh, the last floor here as well. Which is to say that we'll probably end up exploring a lot, unless my guess proves to be uh, surprisingly prescient. Anyway. Uh, yeah, getting the, cr the crate is one of the best, it's one of the items that switches the most in terms of value. I, I like it as like a, you know, a regular character that exists on Red Hearts. I like it as an item for them. Um, but it's super good as Blue Baby because it's basically like getting an HP upgrade plus every consumable in the game. It's better if you get it earlier because maybe you get some trinkets that are more useful for you, but um, it's still good to, g to get it now. I thought maybe we glitched the game out for a second, but thanks to Spider Mob, we could have escaped anyway. But yeah, it, it's still good to get it now because it's basically like getting an HP upgrade, which is kind of like the what you consider as like your um, you know your mile marker for whether or not an item is good to begin with. In a, a boss room item, I mean specifically. Hopefully that makes any the, the slightest bit of sense. Uh, sure, plenty of money here. Not really super useful, probably, but maybe we'll get a money equals power or something in the future. Eh, it's an easy enough room. Mostly killing the doppelganger is important, so that then we can take these guys out uh, without the risk of accidentally, effectively digging our own grave. A little bit more money, and we're not lucky. We're up all night to get fucked. That's eh, pretty much the subtext, and it's like a sub super text in that song, actually, not really the subtext. Alright, free spirit heart. Well, that's not free, that's from the relic. Spirit hearts ain't free, they cost a buck oh five. We're gonna go, I don't know, I became Sarah Chalk there for a second, that was weird. Uh, and, and mildly arousing. But we're gonna go left and down. I have a feeling that's probably where the boss room is. Sure, that's terrible. Um, yeah, you know, I could see myself taking damage on this room if I didn't pop this, so... We'll pop this and we'll plan accordingly later. I will not be able to use Mom's Bra in the next room if I wanna keep this going. I got it. Okay, but Mom's Heart, we don't necessarily need Mom's Bra for Mom's Heart. Like, it might actually be better to use Mom's Bra in the room preceding it. Uh, but we actually will use Mom's Bra here because it turns out that the boss room is fur further away. We'll probably end up taking Mom's Bra into the boss fight because, let's be honest, that's how I, you know, deal with these items. I still think it's worth a Spirit Heart to check out the Curse Room as well. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. This is a very good example of doesn't, but at least we didn't get hit on the way out, so we ended up taking exactly the same amount of damage as a result of that. Um, so I guess Scapular is actually god-awful as Blue Baby, because once you have permanent Polaroid invincibility, it just doesn't have any effect at all, right? Mm, we can definitely get away with using Mom's Bra here, so this is nice. Demon Baby is even helping me... Uh, you know, consolidate my, my attacks on, on both enemies. Well, that's not consolidate, the opposite. You know, spread out my attacks on two different enemies. Spirit Heart and a range upgrade, by all means. Um, probably not gonna open that bad boy up. And in here, well, this solves our mom's bra problem. We'll definitely be using it on the next room because we don't have it yet. And we should be fine, but you know, the next floor is where things get real, so. As of right now, I would say that they are still, um, very easy relative to where we are in the game. So, how do I use uh, Mom's Bra on this fight? That's a darn good question. Thinking I will probably save it for maybe when she starts firing bombs continuously so that I don't have to worry about getting hit by those. Or maybe uh, if I fuck up a crowd control, I can use it. We have so many bombs here. Um, like, that might not be the worst opportunity to use it, because we get a free kill without any risk, but also it was pretty easy to just get out of it regardless. Maybe if a boss like Duke of Flies shows up, but nah, we've already gotten this party started on a Saturday night, so... What I may actually do is not use Mom's Bra. I know it seems like a crazy idea. Then we'll just pop the Emperor card as soon as we get up to the next floor and use it immediately there. Um, and just basically get into boss, boss rush mode at this point. I don't know, some of my shots maybe are, are not having the range necessary to get to Mom's Heart, or maybe they're just stopping earlier to hit other enemies, but um, I almost went down a shoal by accident. So, 
Come over here. Go to the Isaac boss fight. Uh, if possible, I think it makes sense to not use Mom's bra until um, the actual angel fetuses would be showing up. Or we could actually, here's how I'm gonna handle it. We're gonna use Mom's bra, and yes, we are gonna shoot, but also we're just gonna place like a fuck ton of bombs around just to speed the hell out of this fight. Um, speed up the hell out of this fight. You know, it's got some problems with addiction, but that's okay. And, oh, just keep it up here. We still got some invincibility. So as this worked out for us, um, you know, considering we have zero orbitals, I'm not disappointed in the amount of damage that we've taken. I mean, I'm a little disappointed in it, but I'm, I'm not, it, it wasn't unexpected. Let's put it that way. Uh, I, of course, in a perfect world, I would have loved to have taken less damage, but I'd say that's still pretty admirable for the position we were in. Cheers, Monster Manuel, D20. Stigmata, <laughs> Stigmata's a damage upgrade. Uh, apart from that, this is pretty terrible. We might get, I mean, the other problem here, obviously, is that we have no reroll, but we might get some use out of the, might get some use out of the D20. That would not surprise me. Uh, like one use out of the D20, let's be honest, but um, that, that could be useful if it ends up giving us the greatest tarot card of all time. Really, we need to take this amount of health into the uh, blue baby fight and we're fine. Fine might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but we, we wanna pick up this bomb because bombs are useful. That's what we wanna do. Okay, so D20 is gonna follow us into this uh, secret room. I know we wasted a bomb to make this happen, no big deal. So, bomb comes down here. Reroll these three things. We get a pill, which is luck up, okay. And a tarot card, which is temperance. Temperance is not very good, except that we can take it back into this room. Uh, not that the room necessarily matters at this point. And I really thought that that would blow up into a special item. My mistake. At least now we know. Uh, okay, um, this is, this is worth it. So I think we take out Super Gluttony first. And if we get a chance doing some damage to Lust would be excellent. Ooh, I still took damage. Okay, well, at least we have a chance to do damage to Lust here. Because again, the one tarot card, if it's the Hierophant, if the Devil or the Empress or anything kind of even close to along those lines, it would be very nice for us. Uh, Remote Detonator. I, st I know what's going on here. I still think Remote Detonator is worse than Mom's Bra, but it might be viable. We don't have any special bombs. I don't think 14 bombs is enough to get the job done. So I would rather like Mom's Bra and put down as many bombs as I can. Okay, so we've killed Famine. I took some damage on this room, I'm not happy about it, but we have the Relic that's, you know, the Relic is there to help us out with our potential health issues. I should not have taken damage there. I would really, really like to have like a sacrificial dagger, so permanent polar, or the, the virus would be fine too. Um, just so permanent Polaroid invincibility was actually like a little bit more useful. I dodged straight the fuck into that zombie. That is so bad of me. Okay, um, I still don't think remote detonator is the right choice. I'm gonna head upwards. I think the boss room is probably, oh, don't shoot that guy. It's very unlikely to get the same exact configuration, including champions and everything. Um, put a bomb right here. This should simplify it a little bit. And almost I want the HP at this point, or I almost want the HP at this point. Man, that guy took a lot of damage. Come on, tarot card of the century. Tarot card of the century. That is not the tarot card of the century. Neither is the fool, but the hangman is, if possible, actually worse. Ooh, oh, I thought I was gonna get out of that one. I'm playing a little sloppy on the chest, okay? I'll admit, also things you might hear on a porn set, but um, I'm not playing super strong here, but I really thought that this is the this is the run. This is the oh, this is the run where we, we win it all. It's the run where we take it back. I don't think so though. I'm starting to be skeptical of my own chances here. All right, so this is another room that we just um, breeze through hopefully as soon as possible. Thank you Loki for at least weakening the other Loki. Sorry, thank you Demon Baby for weakening the other Loki. Oh my God, I am taking the dumbest damage of all time. And I have to feel at this point that if this was any character but Blue Baby, I probably could have done it. I'm not trying to blame the game at all. This is my own fault. Uh, some very sloppy play on the chest has led to this situation. But uh, if I was any character but Blue Baby, I have to think that I might have had a, an actually real chance to make it happen. 
but we are blue baby, so um, this is what we have to deal with. So let's at least try not to die to, uh, oh, scap. Oh, it's the truth. This could still be the run as long as we only take one hit per room. We don't die because of scapular. Have we broken the game? I'm okay with this at this point. Um, now we can take two hits, I guess. Um, but yeah, now the, the game, if we broke it, I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of that. Mm, I don't know who to kill last here. On the surface, it maybe makes sense to kill uh, Envy last, or sorry, Wrath last, so we can get those bombs. Thank God Envy doesn't show up in these rooms. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to kill Wrath, Wrath last to get those bombs. Or bomb items would have been fine as well. Yeah, this is obviously um, a room where we're going to make good use of the Sacred Heart. So if we can just get one of you fucking killed. There we go. And then we got a little bit of a head start on you as well. The tarot card here, ser sincerely, could save my life. Oh, or poison bombs. That's also pretty good. That is not the boss. Well, it's 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 mini bosses, but it's not the boss. Okay, so I took some damage. That's okay, you know? We'll, we can live here. That scared me a great deal. But I think, due to scapular, I would still survive that hit. I wouldn't survive the one that came after, but as long as I didn't get hit again, I think we could just continually use scapular over and over and over. So maybe that ended up being a much better uh, uh, deal with the de or sorry deal with the angel item than I ever expected. This is fine. Now we we still would very much benefit from an amazing tarot card. I w do not hit sloth again. He's so close to death. I think. A bomb went off right in his fucking face. Um, okay, Sloth, let's do this. Best tarot card 2013. That's not good enough. Here we go. Um, yeah, what can we do, right? Here's what we can do. We can do this, and this, and like this, and this, and this, and that didn't work out as well as I thought, but what's done is done. The freeze is now over. There's uh, the one hit that we can take, I'm pretty sure. And we could fool card out and try to come back in again, but I don't think we have any incentive to do that. Oh, fuck. Okay. If I get hit again and I don't die, I'm pretty sure I'm unkillable, but I am uh, very much killable. Well, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Three losses at least in a row. That's going to be feeling pretty down. I'm going to reload my Isaac game, maybe get a deal with the devil for the first time in a long time, but again, if you like the video, click the like button. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. You should know that by now, but again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.